Hey, y'all, come on in. Take a seat. I show you how I got this, how 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 I did this this back cover right here. Uh, you know, I just went on ahead and knocked that out right there with the belt sander, and then and then took that hand file to it there. Uh, it, it was it was quite easy to do, and, and, and I think it's it's become another engine to do that right there. That's that's one of the liberties I take uh, when I work on one of these engines to fit that back cover there to that crankcase. Uh, it's the way I did that. Enjoy from your middle Tennessee. Shop dog sound. Yeah, I'm checking the list there. Uh, there ain't no cost on that breather that come with the engine and all right there. And, and this right here, that's a personal thing right there to fit that cover to the crankcase. You know, I just think it looks better. But we're set to go there with the gasket cut and all. You know, I like to round them corners off a little bit right there. You know. Yeah. Alright. As it says in the book, not sure what page it is. To, to set the timing on this engine. It comes around. Compression stroke. When you line up those two marks down on the bottom, ah, taking camera angle, everything in consideration, that's about it right there. That mark down yonder on the block. That mark on the flywheel right there. That's when the EK mag should trip. And set the exhaust. You go around again. You come all the way around. And when that exhaust comes down there, and I'll show you something. When you get right down yonder, Let me get straight right here. When you get right there and you get them two marks lined up down there on the bottom, that's when that uh, push rod leaves your rocker arm up there by, by some amount, like a thousand or so. A little squirrel out there about the center screen. Seems to have a lot of patience today. Airplane overhead. Squirrel made a run for it. All's well here in Middle Tennessee.